Zimbabwe is, in my view, and, and I stand to be corrected, I think the, the single thing that I think President Mugabe did, which I support, although it was a little disorderly, is to seize farms. You know, this idea that, that some people came from Europe and, and took people's farm, and then they are to be compensated. You know, if a thief comes into your house and removes you out of your house, and then furnishes your house, and then you remove him, how do you compensate the thief? This, this is exactly what we are being told. But I know Zimbabwe is being persuaded by the, the Western world that if you don't compensate our cousins, we are going to ensure that you suffer under sanction. You imagine what would happen if the Zimbabweans started compensating their farmers. They would be sending a wrong message to the white farmers in South Africa. They would be sending a wrong message to the white farmers in Namibia. Because the situation is, is so clear. I mean, you came into Africa, you own 80% of the land. How do you, what is independence? Land is the last colonial question. And I don't think that anybody should be compensated. In fact, they have compensated themselves. They have worked this land for many years. Whatever compensation that they, have, they wanted, they have done so by engaging in commercial agriculture and deriving the profits they are from. And if you check any of these farmers in Zimbabwe, in Namibia, yes. in South Africa, half of their wealth is not in Zimbabwe or South Africa or Namibia. The Germans oh. in Namibia, their wealth is in Germany, quite a good chunk of it. The Zimbabweans, their wealth is either stored in the United Kingdom, which is not so united anyway, and then some of it is to be found in New Zealand and in Australia. The South Africans are the same. Some of them are now in Canada. So the countries where they are are actually hunting grounds. I'm oh. one who believes, like my friend Selo Malema and George Shivambu and, 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 and others, acquisition without compensation, but in an orderly manner. Because what oh, yes. we want to do is to disrupt agriculture. This is what happened oh, in, yes. in, in, in Zimbabwe. That in Zimbabwe. I, don't, I don't want the farms in Cape to be taken away in a disorderly manner and to destroy mm -hmm. the wine industry. It can't be yes. done. And, and let me also be a little bit, uh, I don't want to sound rabid. I think there are some whites in South Africa and even in Namibia who have demonstrated by their conduct that they are now Africans. Mm, 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 mm. And in my view, such whites ought to be accommodated, but they should only be accommodated if they behave. If you have 10,000 mm. acres of land, you've got to give up some of it. Oh yes, oh yes. You've and you've got to transfer technology and know-how to the blacks. That mm. must be done. Mm. But don't compensate anybody, not even a single cent. 